Jack Jet. What's going on? Jack Jet Gaming. Uh, today we're doing a uh, GTA 5 secret locations with the start of a good BMX. I hope you guys just saw that and enjoyed it. Go back if you missed it. Um, just a few secret locations you can go into online that you don't think you normally could. This is what this video is. And I have about three or four to show you guys today. If you want to see more of that, let me know. Uh, so the first off, we're going to start with the police station. Now you can go into it on story mode, but you can't go into it online. Like the doors are basically don't open, but it still has the interior. Okay. So uh, I've been in a BMX lately. I don't know why. If you want to see a BMX montage, you let me know. So this corner over here, you want to stand in it. And you want to pull out your phone and accept an invite to like a story mode thing, like Simeon. And let it download. Okay, some reason mine didn't download, but you would go in, confirm your settings, and then quit. And then you'll spawn in the sergeant's office like this. So now I'm in the police station. Like all doors, almost all doors are accessible. It's not bad at all. <sighs> you can shoot through the glass also. Um, but no one can get in or out. See doors open. There's a downstairs. But like inside this room is like a little classroom briefing. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Short career, long retirement, full pension, free gun. It's like <laughs> GTA 5 cops got all of them. Uh, papers here. He's probably like on the wall. You put there's probably Easter eggs in here and you just don't know it. So it's a good place to figure that out. And then you go downstairs. And these doors don't open. But yeah, and then down here is the prison cells. Which you can go in. There's a little thing right here, and there's papers and a computer, and you can look into them with two men on your Snapmatic or something. Maybe there's Easter eggs. You can explore. It's a good place to screw around with your friends. I mean, it's not a... I think it's a really cool place, honestly. I've yet to do a uh, GTA 5 online lobby with my buds, see how that goes. And all the doors open. You can even go in the cells. You can shoot, and it leaves the details on stuff. Like it's, it's, I thought like this was like a, a mod, the basement prison for like a PC or something, but I didn't know, but I'm, I, what do I know? Class doesn't break though. This door doesn't open. Cameras do make sappy things when you shoot them. I don't really know if you're into that. And other doors open, but that door is actually leads the stairs out into a little driveway thing for the police station behind it. That's the door to it, but it doesn't open. So then here's the locker room. And uh, there's uh, photos here of people. And a working mirror. Of course, it doesn't really work because you're obviously holding the Snapmatic your phone sideways, yet he's holding it upright right here. He's not even aiming, aiming him at himself, but... Well, doesn't matter. Um, more Easter eggs, probably. You can zoom in on that and check that out. You can go into the roof, too, like the stairwell, but the door does not open. Probably so you can't get in from the roof. Next is Fort Tancudo Tower. Um, I have gone in here before. He has a way to jump through the door of the wall, but I cannot make it in. Um, I tried countless times. I just, I, I did it at least ten times, and I could not get it. Every single time I got blown up, I need to rewatch or 
figure out a way to get back in there because it just isn't working. It's like jumping at the corner of it. I think you can drive a car up and eject towards the building. But I don't know. I kept getting killed as you can see. I mean I tried. Like you can kind of see how you're phasing through the wall. And once I get shot and I die I phase through the wall. See? But like if you jump through it. It's complicated. The door's open on story mode, but you can climb to the top and there's people in there. Uh, the minigun is not in there like on story mode, but yeah. Impossible at the moment. <clears throat> now the next one is the hangar. Like, as soon as you go into the airport on the left, there's a hangar. And there's a door that you don't think can open, but you can. It leads this little hallway, and there's actually a working vending machine in here. I mean, it's not really... It's not that secret, but it's like something that you might not know before, you know? It's actually pretty cool. Uh, no other doors open. Well, these ones do, but that one doesn't. And then this leads out to the main lobby, or main hangar area. So maybe you already knew about it, it's kind of open. Next is the submarine building warehouse thing. And... There's actually a sick control center in here. You you can make in the story mode mission. You have to go in here with to get the submarine or look at it or something. I think. But there are mercenary mercenaries in here, and they will try to kill you. So yeah, it's worth it though. It's pretty cool. And once you walk in, you have to kill a few guys, and you could come from the way on the left, drive your car in. Or you just walk flying the way I did. But I think submarines spawn in here when you're under level 30 or something. But they don't spawn for me, so that's sad. But uh, you want to climb up these stairs and go to this door. You might not think it can open, but it can open to the secret hallway. This door isn't open, but as you can see, the top looks like you can, but you can't. And here's this really cool control room. Now, I'm sure there are other Easter eggs in here too, but... uh. It does have a working laptop right there to go on the internet. And a computer screen, and probably has something on it if you zoomed in, and a newspaper as you can see. And It's just a really neat thing. It's a good place to hang out or snipe or something out the window if someone's coming at you. And, uh, yeah. And if you, outside is this little secret tunnel thing also outside and there's a secret bathroom I mean I don't know how many toilets that you know are on this game other than the pier but this is pretty secret I didn't know they had a lot of toilets other than the jail cell in the early, earlier part of the video but we knew that but uh, yeah that was it so uh if you liked the idea of this video of the secret locations to hang out or screw around with your friends tell me what you think um I could find out more for you and showcase them or show you more about the ones I just did so drop a like on this video if you liked it, comment down below what you want to see, or what you wanted to see if you want more, and subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget to subscribe to Suave over at Suave Gent Gaming. Jackson Gaming. Peace.